So the word's out that he hasn't paid any taxes for 10 years. Let him prove that he has paid taxes because he hasn't. That was Senator Harry Reid in 2012 making claims about Mitt Romney which were completely made up. In fact, here's how Senator Reid, Senator Reid responded when he finally got called out on his dishonesty almost three years later. So no regrets about Mitt Romney, about the Koch brothers, because some people have even call, called it McCarthyite. Well, they call it whatever they want. Um, Romney didn't win, did he? He's a charmer. <laughs> now, critics say Senator Reid is at it again, this time alleging coordination between Trump and the Russians, suggesting the FBI has explosive information that must be made public. Joining us now, American Enterprise Institute scholar and Fox News contributor Mark Thiessen. Mark, well, who, who in their right mind would doubt the man? Of course, no. I mean, look, Harry Reid is an unapologetic liar. He went on national television, was confronted with the fact that he had smeared Mitt Romney incorrectly, and he didn't say, he didn't care one iota about the fact that he had lied. He said, "Well, he lost, didn't he? He cares that he, Romney lost, not that he lied. Right. He will say anything. I mean, this is this is a guy. He's, he's the perfect spokesman for Hillary Clinton. He actually lies so often, he makes Hillary Clinton look like a paragon of honesty." I think it's not so much that, you know, because at first I saw this and I thought, what moron would believe that? Because he's, he lies and he admits he lies and he doesn't care. But it's not about like some random person hearing it. It's about the media saying, oh, this is a good idea to spread and then people not, and then not playing that earlier clip and people walking away saying, oh, okay, I saw it on the news. You move Trump and Russia like this. Yeah, and of course, then CNN comes out and reports that they went and talked to the FBI investigators, and there is no evidence of a, of, of, of a connection between Trump and Russia. So, so you know, what Harry Reid said, oh my gosh, what Harry Reid said is actually not true. Surprise, surprise. And this is a guy, I mean, this is, this is a pattern with him. This is a guy who, in, in 2014, he got his super PAC, his PAC, the uh, leadership PAC, got... A, a dozen Pinocchios from the Washington Post for putting out false ads. A dozen? This is a guy who got he got a dozen, and dozen only Pinocchios. Get four, it's hard Max? to get a dozen Pinocchios. What did they give uh, him? A triple, the triple Pinocchio maximum rating? For, for repeated for repeated campaign ads that got four Pinocchios. He also <laughs> he said the Koch brothers were largely responsible for global warming. More Pinocchios. He said that all the when we were on the air when the Obamacare rollout came out, talking about the stories of people who were losing their health insurance. He went on the Senate floor. All lies. I mean, he he is a he is a serial liar. And so, you know, this guy's going to go back to the Senate. And look, he, he says things like, well, the word is out. What does the word is out mean? I mean, we, we talked about this when he said that about Mitt Romney. I could say anything. I, said that I could say, Harry Reid beats his wife. The word is out. I have no proof. But <laughs> hey, you know, let him prove that I'm wrong. Harry Reid is, is taking money from the mob. Word is out. I have no proof. But go ahead, you know, prove me wrong, Harry Reid. You can say anything about politics uh, when you do that. Harry Reid is the illeg illegitimate son of Japan. Pedo, the word is out. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Mark, good to see you. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> we'll be right back.